I have a question for you. Is 0.9 repeating equal to 1? Well, if you're like most of the math students I've taught, your answer would be no, it's less than 1. And not only would you think that, but you will argue that with me for a very long time. It was one of, the favorite thing, one of my favorite things to do uh, was to put this problem up in the board in math class and just have students argue with me about it. Because uh, it's great. I, I think if they're arguing, they're engaged, and they're thinking about math. I'm going to try to show you why I think it's equal to 1. So I'm going to go through a couple different proofs. Here's my first shot at it. All right, we all know that 1 third is equal to 0 0.3 repeating. And I think we all know that 2 thirds is equal to 0 0.6 repeating. Now let's add both sides here. 1 third plus 2 thirds, that's 1. And on this side, I get 0.999. Repeating. So there you go. 1 is equal to 0 0.9 repeating. Exactly, according to this little proof. Still not buying it? Let me try again. Here's proof number 2. All right. So let's pick a variable and let's let n equal 0.9 repeating. All right, so now I'm going to take and find 10n. Well, 10 times n, I just multiply 0.9 repeating by 10, slide the decimal over one spot, and I get 9.999. All right, well, I'm going to put n right below it. And what was n again? Well, we set n equal to 0 0.9 repeating. Now I'm just going to subtract. I'm going to subtract n. So 10n minus 1n. Well, that's 9n. And I'm going to subtract on this side. Well, 9 minus 0, that's 9. And 9 minus 9 is 0, 0, 0, 0. And do I need to put the dot, dot, dot? No. I mean, technically, 0, 0.0 would be a repeating decimal, but we don't call it that because it has no value. So really, I just have 9n equal to plain old 9. Divide both sides by 9, and n is equal to 1. So there it is again. Here I said n is equal to 0.9 repeating. Did some math. I didn't break any rules. And I get n is equal to 1 down here. All right, let me try another approach. And... This one isn't as much as a proof as I just want you to kind of think about it. Let's pick two numbers. Uh, let's say A and B. Let's say A is not equal to B. Well, what I know about those two numbers then is that there is an infinite number, or there are an infinite number of numbers in between those two numbers. So, for example, take two numbers like uh, point. 5 and 0.56. Those two numbers are definitely not equal. And how many numbers are in between there? Well, you can list numbers all day and all night and forever because there's an infinite number of numbers that are greater than 0.55 and less than 0.56. It's really easy to find them. You just say 0.55. I should put my zeros here, shouldn't I? 0.551. 0 0.552 and 0 0.553 and really anything that starts with 0 0.55 is going to be greater than 0 0.55 and less than 0 0.56 so I can keep going forever and there's just an infinite number of numbers you can write that are in between there and that's true for any two numbers no matter how close they are so right now you're probably thinking what does this have to do with 0.9 repeating being equal to 1 well if you assert that 0.9 repeating is not equal to 1, then you, there should be an infinite number of numbers that are greater than 0.9 repeating and less than 1. But I bet you can't even think of one number that is greater than 0.9 repeating and less than 1. 
So if we're going to put 0.9 repeating on our number line, the only place to put it is right there with 1. Because if we put any space between it and 1, that means there has to be a number in between it. That just doesn't make sense.